In this video, we'll be discussing chi-square distribution formula and uh, important points to remember regarding that and also solve a numerical on chi-square distribution formula. So firstly, let's look into the de definition. So chi-square distribution provides us a measure of correspondence between the the theoretical and observed frequencies. So let's take OI denotes set of all observed frequencies and EI denotes all set of estimated frequencies. Then the quantity chi square can be defined as summation of i is equal to 1 to n OI minus EI whole square by EI. So we have to note that so this is our important form this is the formula here we have to note that if the expected frequency are less than 10 we have to group them suitably for computing value of chi square. So this chi square test this chi square test as can be taken as a test of goodness of fit. So if chi square value is less than the critical value chi square from the table at a specific level of significance the hypothesis is accepted otherwise it is rejected. So chi square test helps us to uh, you know deal with different distributions like binomial or poison or the normal distribution. So now let's discuss the numerical. So the problem statement says that a die was thrown 60 times and the frequency distribution for number appearing on the face x is given by the following table. So a die has 6 faces that is from 1 to 6 and here uh, like the observed frequency tells how many times the following faces have been repeated. So here we have to test the hypothesis that die is unbiased. So at 5% level of significance and 1% level of significance the values are given. So let's start solving the question. Firstly, we have to assume that the die is unbiased and the expected frequency for every phase or each phase is same because the probability of getting one phase out of six phases is same for all the all the sides, right? All the sides on the die. So it can be written as P of 1 is 1 by 6 is equal to probability of getting 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So writing the expected frequency here it can be written as 15 into 1 by 6 or let's take 1 by 6 common for all of these because 15 into 1 by 6 plus 6 into 1 by 6 4 into 1 by 6 7 into 1 by 6 11 into 1 by 6 and 17 into 1 by 6 adding up all these you get the expected frequency so what we have done we have written 15 6 4 7 11 and 17 added up added it here multiplied the entire thing by 1 and divide by 6. So when you add all this you get 60 and when you divide it uh, by 6 you get 10. So we have got the expected frequency and we have the observed frequency. So let's compute a table now. So x values that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Along with that we have observed frequencies that is 15, 6, 4, 7, 11 and 17. Next we have EI value that we have calculated which is same for all the faces that we have got as 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 and 10. So our formula was for chi square is summation i is equal to 1 to n here n value is 6 so oi minus ei whole square by EI. So first let's find out OI minus EI. Further we'll square it. So OI minus EI. Next step would be OI minus EI whole square. And here you can write another step that is OI minus EI whole square by EI. You can solve these things directly in the calc which is very simple. So let's uh, subtract OI minus EI here we'll get 5, 6 minus 10 minus 4, minus 6, minus 3, 11 minus 10, 1, 17 minus 10, 7. OI minus EI whole square, 5 square is 25, 16, 6, 6 are 36, 3 square is 9, 1 square is 1 and 7 square is 49. So here OI minus EI by 
EI. EI value we know as 10. So 25 by 10 is 2.5, 1.6, 3.6, 0.9, 0.1 and 4.9. So when you add up all these, you get summation i is equal to 1 to 6. That is OI minus EI whole square by EI. That is when you add up all this, you get 13.6. That is 13.6. So, so chi-square value we have obtained as 13.6. Now, chi-square is greater than 11.07. Here, chi-square of 0 0.05. This is chi-square of 0 0.05. So, 13.6 is greater than 11.07. As the approximated chi-square is greater than the critical value given, we conclude that the hypothesis is rejected at 5% level of significance. Now computing chi-square is less than 15.09 for 0 0.01. As the chi-square value is less, it is accepted at 1% level of significance. So the critical value, the chi-square value is less than critical value, right? So it is accepted here at 1% level of significance. So I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you have any doubts regarding the topic, do let me know and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.